improved SA features in Kookaburra. So on screen, I have on the left uh, a website using Kookaburra templates, and I've published two albums. We'll come back to these later. On the right, I have another browser window where I have Backlights Admin. And here I'm going to first create a Kookaburra essay template that we can use to publish our first essay. So to get there, I'm going to go into our templates list. If you open the menu, you've got two quick access buttons for the publisher and the templates list, or you can scroll down to the designer section and hit list templates. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new template under album templates. I'm just going to call it Kookaburra essay. You can call it whatever you want. Make sure to have selected the Kookaburra essay type, and then we're going to add that template. Uh, there are some options here where you can configure your image renditions, like sizes, set up your metadata, and you can configure a hero image to appear on the essays. But I'm going to leave these at default and just get out of here. So you can see I've got my Kookaburra essay template. I am going to go into Publisher, and we are going to create our first essay. Uh, and before we do that, let me just preface by saying the essay features were first introduced in Pangolin and Backlight 4, but here in Backlight 5 and Kookaburra, we have leveled up the essay feature set and uh, it's really improved over what it was before. It's currently probably my favorite thing in, in Kookaburra. I really love the new essays. So uh, let's get going with it. I'm going to add an album for base settings. I'm just going to call it, I don't know, first essay. How's that? And then we'll select the Kookaburra essay template. And I'm just going to save it first. Um, let's add some photos. I've got a bunch of them here. So I'll just drag these in and get them uploaded. Probably uploading too many. Sorry about the wait. Uh, I'm also going to grab from... Uh, Lorem Ipsum website, just some garbage text that I can quickly paste in for an essay so that you don't have to wait for me to write something. So our images are done. That's great. I'm going to go back. I am going to edit the album, page content, just paste in the text I just copied, save that. And okay, you can see that we have our first essay now appearing in the, uh, the set. So let's go in there and have a look. There's my dummy text, as we would expect. I'm going to just make this a little bit larger for ease of editing, and let's start messing around. So, uh, of course, Markdown is supported, and what you probably want to do is come in here, use a hashtag, and give it a template or a, a title. So I'm just going to call it first essay. And because I've already clicked this little guy down here, the auto update, as I make changes and save them, you'll see that it will update the page in real time, which is fantastic. So uh, you can write anywhere in Kookaburra or in Pangolin and Backlight in general. This is nothing exciting, but what's really cool about the essay features is this little button right here. When I click it, it will bring up this interface where I have all the images that I've uploaded and some options. So to get going, I am going to let's just grab these first four images. I'm going to drag them over here to create a group. Uh, I can set my presentation type. For now, I'm going to use grid, four columns. I'm not going to give it a name, and I'm going to leave this alone. So I'm going to click here. That copies it. I can then paste it over here hit save and let the page update. And as you can see, it has dropped images into the essay. Uh, this is a slideshow. I can click on these to navigate them and close that down. Um, so this is all pretty much as before, but we have this little button here beside it. And this is something that is new and exclusive to the essay features in Kookaburra. If I click this, it will reopen that interface and allow me to make changes to an existing image group on the page. So for example, I decide that uh, these two are pretty similar. I'm feeling they're kind of redundant. So I'm actually going to pull out the second image. And maybe to uh, stay at four, I'm going to grab this one and put it back in. So then I just copy this. I come over here and replace that snippet with the new one. 
and you can see that it instantly changes uh, and that that group now has the new image and the old image is gone. So that's really cool. Um, what I can also do, uh, let me make a new group of images. Let's say I don't want a grid, I want single images. So I've got two, two uh, different types of presentations for single images. So I can, let's choose single images first and let me grab, I don't know, we'll say, let's get this cow and this cow, the uh, water buffalo, actually I think they are, not cows. And I'm going to copy this and drop them right here. And what that gives me are two single images, large, in my text. Now with the presentation type that I selected, I can actually click on these and it will still open them as a slideshow. That's really cool. Um, but I can also, if I don't want them to be openable, I can come over here and select static images. And I can grab that and use it to replace the snippet that I just put in. And now these are static. They are no longer click clickable. They do not open a slideshow. Um, so those are the three types that are built in at the moment. More to come as Kookaburra continues to evolve. Um, and these are also just based on keywords. So if you know what the, uh, the keywords are, you can actually just edit this directly. So if I come over, you see there's the, the snippet. I've got presentation or data presentation and it's currently static. If I set this to single, and then save it. Now they're clickable. If I change this to grid, now it's a grid. So as long as you know what to put here, you can um, update these manually. But also, like I said, you can just come in here and you can grab this if you don't want to mess with the code. All right, so that is super cool. We've got a little essay going. But uh, what if I want to use images from another album? Uh, this is a new thing that's also exclusive to essays in Kookaburra. So we have an albums list here, and you can see that it's got first essay selected by default. But if I want to use images from first album, I can enable that as well, and then they pop in here at the bottom. So I can bring these in from a separate album. I can even mix them with images from this album. I'm going to keep a grid again, grab that snippet. Let's replace our first one with this. And now we have uh, images from two different albums that are now appearing here in my essay. So that is really cool and powerful. Um, but there's more. If I want to, I don't actually have to use an essay template. And this is what I like to call essay anywhere uh, in Kookaburra because you literally can use the essay features anywhere that you are using a Kookaburra template. So if I'm in my set and I want to add them, uh, I can come in here, I can you know, innate, or select an album and then grab some images. I'm gonna go Three col oops, three columns here. Do a grid, grab that snippet. I'm going to navigate into my set, edit the set, and I can drop that there. And now I've got a slideshow in my set. Now, that's a cool demonstration. I don't actually want that, so let me get rid of it. but I can do the same in an album. So if I want to come in here and then I wanna you know, do some text and a big image at top, I just edit the album, page content. Maybe I'm going to use the black and white image as just a big static image. Grab that, put it here. This is Fort Funston Beach in San Francisco. And now I've got 
an image and some text at the head of my album. So again, super cool. But Essay Anywhere means it's not just albums. It's not just essays. It's literally anywhere. So if I want to go to my About page and I want to insert something from second album here on my About page. And again, I'll just use a static image. We'll grab that. I can go into my admin, scroll down, find my pages, design about, drop this in here and save. And I've got an image on my about page. If I want to go into my home page and I want to set up a sort of a like a summary portfolio or like just a frontispiece gallery that I can use to welcome people into my website, I can use this to embed any images that I want on my welcome page. So I am going to first album and second album. Maybe I'm going to grab this one and this one and this one and this one. Oops, come on, get over here. There we go. Do a grid on my welcome page. And there it is. Uh, this will, of course, use whatever uh, grid configuration that you have set up in your page template. So if you want to change the way this looks, get rid of this metadata, whatever you want, just go into the page template and edit the grid presentation. Uh, you've got lots of options there. But um, Again, you can edit it, bring it up, uh, make whatever changes you need to make. But that's Essay Anywhere in Kookaburra. I am really excited about these features. Um, there's actually more. Maybe I'll put together a blog post or a video explaining how you can use PHP plugins to uh, customize the presentation types. Um, but for now, I'm going to cut it here. I hope you find great ways to use the new essay features and that they, uh, they do a lot for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.